Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I will be looking at the Thermaltake Hardcano 2. What is included in this package is a 3 to 4 pin power connection for the fan. You also get some screws, you get two hard drive support arms, some tape to stick the sensors down to, the installation guide, and the product itself. Taking a closer look here at the product itself, we have a 5,000 RPM fan here in the front. This pulls in air, of course, from the outside and pushes it across your hard drive when it is installed onto the product. Right here we have two displays which indicate the temperatures to whatever you're hooking them up to. You can see here that there's sensors on these which go attached to, let's say, your hard drive or your video card or whatever you want to attach these to. And as you can see, if I touch one of these, the temperature will increase. I'm actually touching this one on the left-hand side and is increasing. So depending on what you connect this to, you'll get an accurate reading of the temperature inside. Now right here, as well as where the fan goes, plug directly into the motherboard, or if you want to plug it directly into the power supply, you've got this 3 to 4 pin power connection. These sensors are extremely small and flat, and you do not want to be applying a lot of pressure to these because you could break the product. Now, how are these applied? Well, you can just go ahead and use the tape that they have supplied and just attach them to whatever product that you want to get a temperature reading on. Go ahead, apply the tape, and once you've done that, you can then read what the temperature of the product is you attached it to. Now, you could attach this to a hard drive, you could attach it to your video card, or even your CPU. The first step in assembling this product is to attach these hard drive support arms and they go attached like so on either side of this product. One screw goes right here, you put the other side on and you mount that in as well. Once that's installed, you go ahead then and install or mount the hard drive onto the support arms. Now that the hard drive has been installed, you can see how it actually fits inside of this product. Two screws go installed on this side as well as the other side and once you do that of course you have it all mounted and ready then to take the whole unit back to the case, hook up all the sensors as well as the fan. When this product is installed into a silver aluminum case like this, I'm using a PC60 from Lee and & Lee and it really does preserve the look on the case. I've connected the fan just to give you some idea how loud the fan is inside of this unit. This is a 5,000 RPM fan and it is quite small. Let's now have a listen. Let me increase the audio. As you can hear, it's very quiet. Overall, this is a good product. It does give you temperature readings, of course, to whatever you hook them up to, and that is important. Monitoring either your CPU, your video card, or your hard drive temperatures, or even temperatures inside or outside your case. Whatever you want to use the sensors for, you can. However, the hard drive cooling aspect on this is very poor. That little fan is not going to do much to keep your hard drive cool. Now in my tests I was getting a degree or two difference depending if it was max load or not, of course depending on the outside air and so on and so forth. But again, if you're getting this product for hard drive cooling, it really is not that strong in cooling your hard drive. But overall, this is a good product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also check out my website at www.3dgameman.com and when you're there, pop into the forums. You can go in there and register. Registration is free. You can leave your very own suggestions and comments and of course read all kinds of information about everything I video review. Until the next time, take care.